Traveling from Dubai to Riyadh for business is straightforward. Uh, the key things you're looking for are uh, flights, hotels, uh, getting around the city, food, uh, a place for you to meet, and if you're looking for growth and expansion, what's the cost of doing business in a new country? Let's start with flights. There are many airlines, multiple airlines with five to seven different flights a day at different price ranges to look at. Uh, for hotels, Booking.com and others have a lot of options. Uh, I would give more time to do some research because there are a lot, are a lot of independent uh, hotel chains, so they're not the global ones that, that you might be used to booking every time you travel. So the independent ones, there are many. And some of them are good, but you need time to figure out which ones, which ones are good, which ones are not. So what I do is, uh, on different trips, depending on where the location of the meetings are, I book one of those independent hotels to figure out if it's good or not. And then once we've tried it a couple of times, that's when we bring it into our corporate trade, and that becomes one of the, uh, one of the ones we use uh, for our travel. So for food, uh, you have uh, Uber Eats, Karim Now, Jahiz. They can get food from all across the city and different types of food, whatever it is that you want. So the food part is easily taken care of, whether you're at a customer's meeting or at the hotel or wherever you are, use the app. Uh, anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, you, you have the food ready. Getting around the city with Uber and Karim, uh, it's, it's quite straightforward to do so. If you're used to using them in other countries, they're very easy to use. Uh, most of the locations are well mapped. Uh, you can find exactly where they are and, uh, and the people who are driving, they're uh, comfortable to talk with, they know the city very well, uh, and they're friendly and they can help out. Um, meeting areas, usually you're here to meet with somebody, so it's usually on their premise or uh, at your hotel. And there are also more co-working spaces that are growing and you could, you could potentially use those to book like a room for a, for a day or half a day or whatever it is that you need. Um, so it's straightforward to do the business between uh, uh, Dubai and Riyadh. And if you're looking to commit more into the city, so opening up an office and so on, uh, there's a cost of doing business, as in any new city. So license costs, uh, rent costs, uh, certain requirements for hiring. Um, so there's a long list of things that you have to go through, as, as with, with any other city. Uh, what I would recommend you do, and this is what I do when I look at expanding into new cities, is um, when I go there for work, whatever that work might be, I spend an extra day where I visit those area, those uh, either the offices to looking at rent or uh, the the entities that uh, facilitate the licenses, whether the entities themselves or the facilitators around it, to understand uh, the landscape a little bit more. Uh, because as with every new city, some people know it very well uh, and they can share with you the tidbits of the license and so on. And others are, don't know it very well and they might misinform you depending on what line of business that you're in. So if on every trip you spend some extra time to explore this and understand a little bit more, this way you're able to uh, figure out really for yourself instead of just relying on one source that you pay to take care of everything else. I'd prefer to spend more time doing uh, more research to figure things out before committing, especially that you're committing to you know, a new country. So that means new licenses, new bank accounts, new leases. Uh, so going into the country is a lot of work. Leaving the country in case you choose you want to close and leave, that's also a lot of work. So take your time, figure it out, and, and then do so. Uh, so for trips coming in and out, it's, it's pretty straightforward. And if you're looking to do long-term business to open up a license, uh, there are options to look at, uh, but you need to spend the needed time to, to figure what those options are that make sense for your business.